guys, it's Nature Lovers Inc. here back with another video. In this video, I have finally got my tank set up. I know you can't really see it, but it's here. And I found something to put in it temporarily. I have found a gray tree frog. See right there? Kind of climbing up the thing. Pretty interesting. I'll take him out just to show you. Actually, Leah will, I guess. He is a jumper. So he can definitely hop. As you can see. He's gonna hop out. I'll get him before he does. We'll put him um put him on the lid of this cage here. Or actually we'll put him we'll on put him on here. It's I don't know why it's not very focused in here. Something must be wrong with the camera, but there's there's my little toad, my little frog. I'm gonna hold it. Well, Leah's gonna try to hold it. There's Leo holding it. Now, it's very interesting to... Oh, my God. <laughs> he just he, hopped on the mirror. He just hopped on the mirror. So, we're going to put him... He's, a, he's quite a hopper, actually. We're just going to hold... I'm about a foot away from the mirror right now. A foot away from the mirror. A hop. Oh, I just want to hop. But definitely an interesting pet to have. Pretty easy. I just misted him down. Put a little piece of food in there. Put like earwig in there. I found, and he'll probably eat that eventually. Put earwig in there. He's the only food I can find. I'm gonna go buy him some crickets at some point. It is Sunday, so I don't know why it's not very focused. I'll bring him over here. A little bit more focused. He's on my finger right now. Don't want him to hop away. He's hopping away. He's hopping away in your room. He's getting away. <laughs> now he found him outside at my grandpappy's and we brought him home. And I am going to my grandpappy's house, um, I think tomorrow or around that time. So just an overnight. Probably kind Wednesday. Of, just an overnight thing. Probably it's Wednesday. Sunday. Probably going there Wednesday. So it's just a few nights. Yeah, we should probably put him back in his water dish. His yeah, cage. he likes his water dish. He does Just like to swim, not to drink. He, well, they do, they drink through their skin. Yeah. So that is the toad or the frog. I'm used to catching toads. The toad that I, I was actually gonna put in here got away. So you actually shouldn't handle these guys too much. So after this video, I'm gonna kind of leave them alone for a little bit, adjust to his new temporary surroundings. I'm gonna miss them just a little bit. Make make sure to miss them plenty, because the frogs do like the do like they breathe through their skin, and without moisture they will dry up and suffocate, and that's usually how they die. Which is why amphibians are so delicate, and a lot of them are endangered, is because of of what they need to survive. It's very hard to get that nowadays. But yeah, it's definitely a great a great animal to have as a pet. You need to be a little bit more experienced to keep these as permanent pets, they, but they do make great, interesting pets. You can't really see them because they're unfocused. But that is my gray tree frog. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video on my new gray tree frog and its setup. It's, t it's set up for now, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.